Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 4.12 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 4.12 is our last lesson in this chapter, and it is the one where we do our problem solving with multi-step word problems. So I'm just going to go through the whole lesson, and we're going to start here with the unlock the problem. It says, Lucy and her dad will prepare corn for a community picnic. There are three bags of corn. Each bag holds 32 ears of corn. When the corn is cooked, they want to divide the corn equally among eight serving plates. How many ears of corn should they put on each of the eight serving plates? So this has multi-step. We're going to have to do two different problems in order to solve this. Whenever we have word problems, we want to make sure that we know the important information. We can do that by asking ourselves, what do I need to find? What information should I use? And how will I use the information? So what do I need to find? It's asking me to find the number of ears of corn that will go on each plate. Ears of corn. What information do I need to use? I'm going to have to use that there's three bags of corn and each of those bags has 32 ears. And then I'm also going to need to use this information that they're going to divide the corn into eight groups. How will I use this information? Well, it says let's make a bar model for each step to visualize, to help us understand it. Then you're going to first multiply multiply to find the total and then I will divide so multiply to find the total number of corn ears that we have and then I will divide to find the number for each plate so first problem that I'm gonna have is 32 times 3 to find out how much corn I have so They've drawn a picture here for us. They've drawn three boxes with 32 in it. When we add those 32 plus 32 plus 32, or we do 32 times 3, we get 6 here, 9 there. So we have 96 total ears of corn. So then, that's not the end. The last step was to take those 96 and divide it onto 8 serving plates. So I have 96 down here is how much I have. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plates. So we have to figure out how many are on each plate by doing 96 divided by 8. So... I'm going to just count by eights until I get to 96. When I do that, I will have counted 12 times. So 12 ears of corn will be on each of these plates. So it's hard for my pen to fill all these in, but each and every one of those boxes should have 12 in it. And so then Number one down here, how many ears of corn should go on each plate? Twelve ears of corn will be on each plate. Number two, how can you check your answer? Well, we have to do the opposite math. So the last step was 96 divided by 8. So I'm going to switch to doing my multiplication of 12 times 8 boxes and see if it gives me 96. So 12 times 8 boxes, and hopefully we'll get 96. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry my 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we did get 96, so we did our math correctly. So I would write that out here on number 2, is I will multiply the answer 12 by 8, and then divide the answer by 3 to see if we get the 32. 
So 96 divided by 3. Let's see if we can do that and get 32. 96 divided by 3. 3 fits into 9 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract gets a 0. Bring down my 6. 3 fits into 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract and I get a 0. So yes, I ended up with 32. So I did my problem right. If you are in my class, um, please write down the password Star Wars in your planner so that I know you've watched the video. And if you have any questions on this lesson, feel free to leave me a comment. Just to recap really quick before I sign off. When you have word problems like this, you need to read them very carefully. Pick out the numbers and the, um, the math words that let you know whether you're doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Ask yourself what you need to find, what information you will use, and how you will use it. So in other words, what kind of math will you do? All right, thanks for watching.